We are heading north of the border for the RVC Canadian Open, and I got you covered with everything you need to know in the 555 podcast brought to you by DFS Army. What up, what up, what up, everybody? It's your boy DFS Up North, a.k.a. Josh Thomas, here with another 555 PGA podcast brought to you by the fine folks over at DFS Army. We are talking about the RBC Canadian Open this week. We are heading north of the border. Just barely, actually, technically, like, what is it? Latitudinally? Latitudinally? South of, like, some places in the United States. Just to the west of buffalo here in just just south of mississauga hamilton uh we are in amcaster uh and we are playing the rbc canadian open at hamilton golf and country club this is the 555 pga podcast where i give you my five key stats for the week five favorite plays and five low owned gpp punts try to get you in and out of here with all the information that you need in about 10 minutes or less uh if you're an rdfs army vip or vip you can use the code up north for 10% off for life. So let's get into it. I am excited. It's going to be a fun week this week. We've got a decent field here uh, led by Rory McIlroy, and we are playing at a course that has been renovated since the last time they played this. The RBC Canadian Open uh, tends to rotate through a variety of courses. Uh, they played it here at Hamilton in 2019. Uh, and since then, the course has undergone a renovation uh, by Martin Ebert, uh, who is Mackenzie and Ebert. They advise almost all of the open championship venues. They do all sorts of, you know, Royal Porth Crawl, different places like that. Uh, very, very big in Europe, not so much here in the United States. But uh, we, I would expect that that sort of design influence is going to influence some of these greens that have been completely redone since 2019. Uh, some of the bunkers have been removed. Uh, here's the thing. My assumption, just looking at what they've done here, is that this renovation was not necessarily for the PGA Tour to make this course play tougher, but for their members. Uh, so my expectation is that even though this is a par 70, which means that there's less chances to score because of the, the two less par fives, we will see a, a bit of a birdie fest this week. So uh, I don't think that it's going to play that hard, uh, but I guess we will see. They have taken out trees too. Uh, they, they call this a parkland tree line fairways, but the, 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 the trees are not going to be that big of an issue this week. So like I said, it is a par 70 par three scoring will be huge this week. You've got to score on the par threes or at the very least just make pars. Uh, we get a more traditional bent grass green country this week uh, up in Canada. Uh, bent grass where, where I'm from here in Minnesota, very common and popular too, different than the Bermuda and Poa. The, the bent grass, I, I would expect to play a little bit better this week than it did last week, just having recently been done. The, the renovation here is not like last week, right? So last week we had a, a, a complete course overhaul at Colonial uh, that happened in the last calendar year. The renovation here started in 2019 after the event um, and actually you know, took some time. Uh, in 2022, 2023, I believe Golf Digest said that this was the best renovation um, in North America. So uh, the, the course should be in good shape. Uh, part of what it is going to be an issue this week is just how wet it's been. Uh, spectators actually weren't allowed on the course today because of all of the rain that they got. What does that mean for us? That means that scoring should be again up. Uh, we should be point and shoot uh, irons into greens, be able to fire at these pins and hopefully score pretty well. Uh, when you look at like data golf's course, uh, comps. I do think that we have a similar course comps to, to what, like where they played the, the, the RBC Canadian open last year. Um, but it, this is like average, average, average PGA tour course. Uh, the little box is, is, is about as average as it gets in terms of uh, things being a relative importance. You gotta do things pretty well here. Just everything pretty well. Not, you don't have to do anything like super great. Um, but you gotta be, have sort of a well-rounded game. And I think that leads into uh, sort of my, my picks here for this week. So my five favorite plays, we are starting it off with Mr. RBC Canadian open himself, Rory McIlroy, uh, one here in 2019. Obviously the course has been redone, but I love roars this week. He is not near expensive enough. Uh, he should be 
13 on DraftKings and at, at, at minimum. I wrote my notes this week that I'd play Rory or smash Rory up to 15,000 this week, especially with the sort of hybrid pricing that we've been seeing on PGA lately with the, the 5,000 range having uh, some viable candidates. So I am all in on Rory this week, and I actually do similar to last week. Didn't pan out for us, obviously, with sort of a random winning, but uh, I do like a, a, a stack at the top. Again, Rory and Alex Noren are going to be those two guys for me this week. Noren is just continues to knock on the door of a win. All right. And this is, again, a course that I think he should be a great fit at with his overall game. He's got the short game. He can hit it long off the tee. That's one thing I will say here. Some of the carries, I do think that uh, being able to carry the ball 300 yards off the tee is going to be huge. I think that most guys, even the short hitters in the field, can do that. But being able to do it consistently without having to reach too far back and, and, and bring in potentially a slice or a hook or things like that is going to be huge, which is why I like a guy like Rory McIlroy. Um if you're not going that stars and studs route or that studs and or stars and scrubs studs and duds. I like that too. Um, if you're not going stars and scrubs, I do like a, a middle sort of build that, that starts around a guy like Aaron Rye, Adam Scott, Tom Kim, that range. Uh, I got Rye and Tom Kim listed here. Rye just consistently good. I think he's an op, a cash option. If you want to go there, uh, really a, a strong play at this course. And then Tom Kim, just again, knocking on the door continues to play. Well, uh, it seems to be getting the mental aspect of it figured out continuing to contend and he's going to put four rounds together here again he's just too talented i think people are forgetting about him 8600 10-3 on FanDuel. love him this week and then finally the fifth spot on here is a guy who i'm not even sure has his golf clubs here yet but uh canadian open adam hadwin uh canadian guy his clubs are still apparently stuck in denver we'll have to keep an eye on twitter for that maybe he's got them now who knows but i just i i had to get a little canadian flair in here in my favorite plays this week and i'm not playing a guy like Corey connors who he's gonna finish 15th like that's what he's gonna do all right mackenzie hughes you could swap him and adam adwin uh, hadwin out here in my five favorite plays i think both are definitely viable this week uh when we look at the duds right or the scrubs a uh, couple of guys that i'm pretty high on this week justin lauer uh was on him last week missed the cut uh this is a better course fit for him he just didn't have a putter last week first time in a while that the putter really betrayed him uh had one real bad round with it i think that this is a great bounce back spot for him uh kevin tway like this is scary i wrote this in my notes i am i'm concerned that uh, about how much kevin tway i have this week but the guy's just been playing great golf since his return man like there's 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 nothing to it like he does he's doing everything well right now he is checking all the boxes which means that he's for sure gonna shoot like 90 90 this week and i'm gonna look like an idiot but i, I kind of like kevin tway here all right. Um, and then David Lipsky, top 10 last week. He's only 5,400. I get that he's coming off of three missed cuts before that, but Lipsky can play. Uh, guy can make birdies in a hurry. And I think that, you know, this sort of KFT type of event or course is going to really suit him. Gary Woodland, another guy who's been playing pretty well, found something with his putter last week, I think. Uh, and I'm going to ride the hot hand here. Again, we talked about distance. And then finally, Victor Perez is a guy that's going to have like zero ownership at 6,300, 8,100. Fairly decent cut maker, can can really score. Uh, we've seen him play well uh, at times out there. But at 6,300, you don't need him to do much more than a top 30. And I think that he is absolutely more than capable of that. So, again, RBC Canadian Open this week, Hamilton Golf Club. If you want access to all of the tools that we have here at DFS Army, you want to uh, become a DFS Army VIP, you can use that code up north. That gives you 10% off VIP monthly membership forever. All right, so whatever you lock in now. Oh, sorry. I muted myself there. We got people that are paying like 12 bucks a month because they locked in years ago with Geek. Uh, so Geek is loyal to a fault. Uh, whatever you lock in now, let's say prices go up, you are locked in at that 10% discount for the rest of your life. All right. Cheers, everybody. Have a great week. I'm looking forward to it. RBC Canyon Yelp. We got Memorial Open or Memorial next week. And then we got the US Open after that Father's Day weekend. Let's go.